Okay, the date is August 20th, 2020. This is Whitney Palmer speaking with my uncle, Ernie Johnson, about his story of seeing the mountain caribou herd up in the Selkirks. Okay, so, Ernie, where were you when you saw the caribou herd? Uh, we were in a pickup truck going towards uh, Chimney Rock in North Idaho. And uh, I think it was probably in May. There was still snow in the high country. So you were up Upper Pack River Road? Exactly. Do you know whereabouts you were? We were uh, almost to the Chimney Rock turnoff. Okay. How long ago was this? This was probably 10 years ago now. 10, at least 10-ish years ago? Okay, so you were driving along. Were you driving to Chimney Rock or from Chimney Rock? We were going north towards Chimney Rock. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were in my friend's pickup. And I spotted something unusual in the snow on the hillside to my right. And I told him to stop. And what it was was... Uh, the caribou horns sticking out of the snow. That's all I could see was their horns. And, how, uh, how many did you see? There was, uh, I think we counted eight, if I remember right. Antlers? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Well, after we stopped the pickup, they stood up. Right, so you were going along, you saw at least one set of antlers. How uh, no, I saw all the antlers. Oh, you saw them all. They're all laying in the snow in a, in a group. Okay. We had, we, we had rifles with us, high-powered hunting rifles, and we were watching them through the scope, scope on the rifles. I mean, later on, I got to say about, shit, if a game warden would have come along seen us, pointing those those rifles at those caribou boys, and probably still be in jail. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I'm sure, I'm sure the guns were loaded, on the other hand, because we were carrying them in the pickup, and you don't carry a loaded. Yeah. Firearm and pickup, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you were only fifty feet away, though, right? Yeah, we we could see fine. I think we, I don't know what we were looking for, maybe collars or something. I don't know. To see, see if they were just farting around, probably. Yeah. You know? Seeing if they were tagged or something. Yeah, just mm -hmm. goofing off. But we were there for a long time. They didn't leave. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what were you doing going up to Chimney Rock that day? Uh, just out for a drive. Stop driving. Just enjoying ourselves and mm -hmm. knowing us probably sipping on a couple cans of beer. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, you live up there too, right? You've yeah, I live up, up the back that, river. In that area for a, quite a while. Yeah. Like, what, 20 years? Probably something like that. And before that, you were just down in <coughs> Sully Valley? and I lived in, in the that? area, in the same area for 40 years. Uh-huh. Okay, so you decided to pull over and how far away were the antlers they were like they were really close probably 50 feet 50 feet from where you turned out from over. where we stopped the truck so then what happened they stood up well uh, they stood up to look at us and uh, we got out of pickup and we didn't have a camera but mm -hmm. we just stood there and watched them and talked about it and finally we decided to uh walk towards them just to see what happened. And we started walking through the snow and one of them come out to challenge us. Oh. And then we turned around and walked back to the pickup. <laughs> <laughs> so he wasn't gonna, he started coming towards you? Or yeah, just... he took a, a couple steps towards us and stopped. Uh-huh. And watched us. Uh-huh. And when that happened, we just turned around and walked back and got in the pickup. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, then, it was uh, interesting. It was a neat, neat happening. Because not very many people ever see them, you know? Yeah. So. And you think there were around eight of them? Yeah, I think we counted them. I think there were eight of them. Could you tell how many were male and how many were No, male, they, both or? sexes have horns. Uh-huh. So. Were there any calves? No, I didn't see any calves. Mm -hmm. They were all full-grown. Mm -hmm. They're so full-sized they, or close to it. Some of them might have been young, younger, but they were all, all had a, 
nice horns. Uh-huh. Antlers, well, I guess you call them. Yeah. And then, did they, did you leave, or what? Yeah. We finally got in the pickup. And, and were they still there? Yeah, they were still. Just hanging out? Still standing there in the same spot. Mm-hmm. And they didn't get alarmed or nervous or anything. They just uh, got one kind of challenge. I think he was telling us to stay the hell away from them. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's it, really. How tall what was was this one that challenged you? Like I think he was the biggest one in the group. Uh huh. He he was pretty good size, and he wasn't about to to back off. I mean, he took a couple steps towards us and to just stop to see what they, what we were gonna do. Could you estimate how tall it was? Or oh, big? not really. He's standing in the snow. I mean, it was, looked like a full grown critter, you know. Yeah. Um, like big as a moose, or. Oh, no, not near as big as a moose, but... Okay. So, yeah, uh, then did you ever see any other caribou or signs of caribou? No, never have. It was the only time. So, 10 years ago now would have been around 2010? Yeah, that'd be about right. Yeah, so that was May 2010. It was early, early spring. The road was open, but there was still a lot of snow off the road. The road, the road we were on was a plowed road. Mm-hmm. So in your experience, have you ever seen any other signs, like tracks, or are you able... Are no, you able I, to, I haven't. You spend a lot of time up in the wilderness up there. So yeah, I have. You probably see a lot of different game signs. And yeah, sure I do. I mean, that's why I'm here. I enjoy the wildlife. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know how to tell the difference between moose poop and caribou poop? Of and course. Elk poop? Of course. You do? <laughs> <laughs> how can you how can you tell the difference of caribou scat? It's more like a regular white tailed deer than uh than other kinds of scat. Uh-huh. The moose are unmistakable. They're shaped like little footballs. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and they're a lot bigger than any of the de- other deer family, any of the other members of the deer family. So the caribous are smaller yeah, and round? Yeah, yeah. So they look like, like a white-tailed deer spot. Yeah, except, uh, well, I, I, I don't know. I've, I've seen their scat, but I couldn't. Couldn't really say because I don't know. Mm-hmm. I guess one of their main things in their diet is the, the leaching on old old growth timber. You know the, the lichen. The, the lichen on old growth timber. Mm-hmm. It's hard to find. Why does it only grow on old growth timber? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it takes a long time to grow. I don't. I don't know. I've never. There's so many kinds. There's a few kinds of lichen. There's the one that hangs. That's like old man's beard. Yeah, that's what we used to Is call it. Witch's hair. Witch's hair. Little <laughs> <laughs> kids, kids. That was something we'd always use for fire starter when we were kids. We call the witch's hair. <laughs> mm, that would be a good fire starter. Yeah, yeah it burns like crazy. <laughs> Make it up in a wad and light it with a match. Ooh. Well, there was that big fire up there too, so that. That was a Sundance fire. The Sundance fire. When was that one? 67. Hmm. And you never saw any any footprints or hoof prints? No. Because they have the really, really big hooves to go. Yeah, that's how they in walk, the in the, walk in the deeper snow. They don't sink in as far, you know. They're... Yeah. Hmm. I know what? up in that area now, there's... Uh, see walls up there and if there's if something bad's happening to them besides their habitat being destroyed it's, that's probably one of the things that's, that's hurting them is, the, is the, the expanding wolf population do you see wolf sign oh there? yeah sure yeah yeah. Hmm. I've seen those around our, our property where I live you've actually seen them yeah are they in herds or no, packs, no, I mean, or uh, no. just solo wolves? 
The few I've seen down low, they're, they're by themselves. Hmm. So when you saw the caribou, were they, what was their fur like, or their coat? Well, it was just, I don't understand what you mean, it was just a... Uh, they're like a gray coat. It uh, was just probably the same color as a deer, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's about all of the story anyways, so. Yeah, I wasn't much to tell you, but at least I have that memory of seeing them up close that one time, you know. Yeah. It's kind of neat, really, you know. That's really special. Mm. Yeah, I, a lot of people have never even seen one of them, you know. I mean, from what I understand, they won't go back to a spot where they've seen humans. Oh, really? Or yeah. where there's been too much human activity. But, okay. Thanks for sharing your story. Yeah, it wasn't much of a story, but... <laughs> you keep saying you that, true, but it's pretty you know? rare for anyone to I see I probably them. made mistakes in there. I don't, I don't know that much about caribou, but I know what I've seen. You know, my <laughs> memory's still fresh in my, my mind because it's something really unusual. Yeah, it's really special. You know? Yeah. It's pretty, pretty I special. I think it's a good story. Hmm? I think it's a good story. Yeah, maybe. I hope so. <laughs>